You are now watching Game Blazer, the highest gaming channel on the internet. And this is Today in Gaming History for May 15th, 2018. Number one is Shrek the Third. This action adventure game, based on the DreamWorks film, was created by a team of developers including Seven Studios, Game Loft, Amaze Entertainment, and Vicurious Visions. The story follows pretty closely with the film. In the game, Shrek has to find Artie and convince him to serve as king a far, far away again, because Prince Charming is storming the city and trying to take the crown by force. And that is not what's up. It's not what's up. So, you gotta get in there, you gotta be Shrek, and you gotta make him the king a far, far away again. And you got 20 levels to do it, and some side missions. One of them side missions, you get to meet the penguins from Madagascar, so that's not enough, you know, including Donkey and Fiona and all the other characters from the film. My man's Puss in Boots, coolest cat on screen, literally. But yeah, Shrek the Third dropped today, so happy birthday. Number two, Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Play as Mario and tear through level after level of Bowser's minions to save Princess Peach once again. Some people never change. The reviews for this game were and still are 10 stars all across the board. That blend of 2D and 3D graphics was top notch, off the chain, and the mechanics of the gameplay made it highly addictive and easy to play. And it made my thumbs feel like shit afterwards. I know I'm not alone. The accolades that this game received are tremendous. The awards, the list goes on and on. Game of the Month from Game Informer, Editor's Choice Awards, IGN, Best Handheld at the Spike Video Game Awards in 2006. Hmm. They did have a good end. Anyway, X Play Nintendo Power Team Choice Awards, and this goes on and on. Hands down, today an amazing game came out. Happy birthday, Super Mario Brothers. Number three, the game of thrones. <laughs> I'm kidding. This action RPG is based on a George R. R. Martin novel titled The Song of Fire and Ice. Okay, I looked up the plot summary for this game and I kinda got bored, I'll admit it. Not my type of steel love. So here's what I gather for you. Hero has traumatic thought changing event. Hero goes on an adventure. Hero meets spiritual mentor, has a moment tries to figure out what that plot driven mysterious incident was in his past is motivating him to come this far links up with his homeboy they go back in town find the bastard that did this shit etc etc now despite all the hoopla from the tv series the game actually sucked like hard the plot was well crafted but again it was the shoddy gameplay that ruined another potentially amazing game i don't know what else to tell you Happy birthday! Number 4 is The Da Vinci Code, an adventure puzzle game developed by Collective Inc. and 2K Games. It was released the same day as the film, however the game is more based on the original novel written by Dan Brown. The game sticks closely to the concepts of the novel, but where it has amazing detail and great story, it again lacks in gameplay what is with this crap. Why can't you get it together? Sorry, I'm not a video game programmer, but you know, I'm a gamer. You know, it's nice, slight. But it is a third person game, and I like third person games a lot. So you play as Mr. Robert Langdon, your partner Sophie, she's a cop, and he's an archaeologist. You go on missions and you search and find stuff. So if you like search and find RPGs, this is the game for you. So, with that being said, happy birthday to Vinci Code and to the movie. Today in Movie History Number 5 Code Lyoko This game, based on the French animated TV series, was developed by DC Studios. It is quite simply a point and click hack and slash adventure game. Downright. Straight up. But it's cool. In a cute way. Let me explain. The game follows the story of four high schoolers, Jeremy, Odd, Ulrich, and Yumi. They band together to help a virtual humanoid by the name of Ilea to stop an evil artificial intelligence by the name of Xana. No, just Xana, not Xanax. 
The game focuses mainly on the first two seasons, with the final chapter of the game being a tease for season three, which is kind of cool. I like how they added that. The reception for the game, overall, it was praised for its accuracy and detail and graphics, but was condemned for its repetitiveness and lack of creativity, I suppose. I don't know. I was a big fan of Code Lyoko, but that's my video because that was today in gaming history.